Hey curly girls, how you guys doing? So I got on here to show you my hair. I know I'm looking real extra ratchet right now with my, um, y'all know what it is. We all do the same thing with our hair. We all section our hair off with these little clippies. But um, I shampooed my hair today with the um, Dark and Lovely All Natural Anti Shrinkage. And I'm not gonna do like a review right this second. I just, I'm just showing you, I'm just coming here like really showing you my hair. Um, right now I'll be back um, either after I rinse it out or you know it's gonna take a day for my hair to dry and that's how I really know whether I like the products or not is how my hair looks when it's um, dry but that's what I shampooed my hair with and then I conditioned with the um, not out conditioner so um, the line doesn't come with the deep conditioner it just comes with that rinse out conditioner and I need to DC my hair whenever I use a shampoo I try to DC my hair so um, that's what I have on my hair right now is my deep conditioner and I'm going to rinse that out and I might show you my hair after I rinse it out but I mean then again I might not rinsed out hair it pretty much looks the same as the last time you saw my hair rinsed out um, the story is going to be when my hair dries how it looks so I'm going to choose which styling aid I'm going to put um, in my hair after I rinse out the conditioner and I think what I'm going to use is the um, there's so many different products on here I'm gonna to have to do more than one review um, the curl defining cream glaze and I think I'm going to style with this after I rinse this out and then I might spray a little bit of this on um, so we'll see I just wanted to come on here real fast it's going to be a couple parts to this um, video which is what I was supposed to do my last naturallycurly.com review um, and yes these products were provided um, to me by um, naturallycurly.com and as usual this is going to be my honest opinion. I was not paid to do this review, so let's see how these products work. And um, full review coming soon. See you guys in a minute. Bye. Okay, you guys, so I am back. My hair is 100% dry now, so I can actually show you um, how my hair looks. So um, first, let me talk about the shampoo and conditioner. Um, so the shampoo, it definitely cleanses your hair. Um, and the conditioner is a, you know, a thick, creamy, and I don't have the shampoo and conditioner with me right now, but I showed you the bottles in the previous video. I have the stylus here, but I don't have the shampoo and conditioner here with me. But just, it's typical consistency with shampoo and conditioner. There's like only so much descriptive adjectives I can think of to describe, you know, shampoo and conditioner. Um, it cleansed my hair. My hair did not feel stripped. My hair did not feel, you know, dry or anything after I shampooed. And, and then I used the um, Not Out Conditioner. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about this packaging. Dark and, um, dark and Lovely Ah Natural Anti Shrinkage. Um, first of all, the um, ingredients are not all natural and I would encourage you to go to darkandlovely or curlmar.com and, and look at their ingredients list so you can see for yourself. The ingredients are not um, all natural so I just I pretty much think that the packaging is to target individuals who wear their hair in its natural state. But it does kind of throw you off a little bit because when you first look at it all natural, like like you're thinking that maybe it's natural um, ingredients in the products. But of course, it's dark and lovely. So, I mean, really. Anti-shrinkage. Um, again, when you wear your hair natural, us ladies who do wash and goes or twist outs or braid outs or whatever, you're going to get shrinkage. The only product I know of that is really going to give you just complete anti-shrinkage is a blow dryer or a flat iron if you're wearing your hair in its natural state you can use products that will help elongate your curls but anti-shrinkage yeah they're kind of playing on words a little bit dark and lovely definitely knows what they're doing as far as their uh, marketing but um, the shampoo and conditioner it definitely worked like i said what tells the story is when my hair dries my hair is completely dry my hair is really really soft and I use the Coil Moisturizing Souffle. This is what it looks like. And it says, um, with mango oil and bamboo milk. I will show you the consistency. It's pretty, it's pretty thick. 
kind of reminds me of um, cholesterol, the conditioner cholesterol. That is the um, consistency of it. It smells really good. It smells fruity. It definitely smells like mangoes. Um, it's really fruity and it smelled good in my hair. Um, so after I shampooed my hair and you saw my hair in the last um, video, my hair was sectioned into four sections and that's how I applied the, um, the souffle to my hair. And, and then I just let my hair air dry and yes, my hair is completely dry. My, um, however, it does not feel dry. It does not look dry. It's actually pretty shiny and super soft. I'm going to take it out just so you can really see my hair. I've been wearing it up a lot, but I want you to be able to see how bouncy, how soft. There's no crunch at all. And, um, I mean, it, it held like a gel, you know, it held up, you know, my hair as far as it, it, my hair did not get frizzy. Like seriously, my hair feels so freaking soft right now and it's not frizzy. So I just wanted to take that, take my um, little elastic band out so you can see um, my hair, my curls. Um, my curls could be a little more defined, but like I said, I've been wearing it in ponytails and buns, you know, so um, it's it's a little stretched a little bit, but my, it just, it feels, I wish I, could, I wish you guys could touch my hair. It feels so soft right now um, yeah so I actually I did not have high hopes for this product really and I actually sprayed a little bit of the um, sheen sealing nectar in my hair just to give it a little shine and um, it's actually not greasy it gave it some shine I don't know if you guys can see that on camera but it did give my hair some shine and it's not greasy to the touch it's it's very Oh, very like I don't know nylon if I would use a word to describe I don't know I'm not really good at these descriptions today but um anyway I do I like how it felt I like how it went on my hair I like how my hair dried and my hair for someone who suffers from very frizzy hair my hair you know gets really really dry um I have to say, I actually do like it. And I really, really did not have very high hopes for this product because I just felt like Dark and Lovely was just trying to jump on the natural hair bandwagon. They're known for relaxers and they're like, oh, no one's buying my relaxers. Let's come out with an, a, a natural line. And I really did not think I was gonna like it. And I, I wasn't planning on trying it until naturallycurly.com sent it to me. But I actually would say that if I ran out of this, I actually would repurchase it. I'm not a huge shampoo person, so I probably wouldn't purchase the shampoo. And I have other conditioners that I love way more. But this product right here, when I run out, I probably will buy it again. I've seen it at Walgreens. Um, I've actually seen it at Sally's also. So I definitely will repurchase again. What I have not tried yet is the Curl Defining Cream Glaze. And I think I might use this for like a twist out or something I'm not sure and I haven't used the 10 in 1 um, styles gel yet so I do plan on using these products and coming back and doing another review but so far um, the products that I have used the shampoo and conditioner um, thumbs up um, this two thumbs up I would say um, if I had to rate it from um, 1 to 10 I would give it an 8 um, I don't really use shiners. I don't really use these sprays, so I probably would not purchase this again. But for those of you who are looking for a sheen and something extra on top of your um, styler with your hair, this is probably a good um, product to go with for those of you um, who use those type of stylers. I don't use them. But um, yeah, this I would definitely purchase again. So I'll be back to tell you guys how I like the um, Curl Defining Cream Glaze and the and the gel. I haven't used those two products yet, but um, yeah, I like it. I have to say I like it. So even though I felt like they were trying to play on our natural hair sensitivities, they did a pretty good job at, at putting this together. Those of you who are looking for all natural products, the Curly Girl Method, 
Um, I would say this probably is not for you because it's not all natural products. However, um, there's no alcohol, no mineral oil, no, no parabens, and no petroleum. So that's a good thing. But I did see some cones in here, I believe. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I've been reading so many different products that I mistakenly thought I saw cones. Okay, yeah. Dimethicone, amo de methicone is in here, which actually I heard that that's really not a bad cone. So, like I said, go to um, Soft Sheen, probably softsheencarson.com or 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 Dr. Lovely or just Google their name and and you can look up the because um, there's a lot of ingredients on here and I don't want to make myself sound like I didn't actually go to college by trying to pronounce some of the stuff. So I'm really not going to even go into the ingredients, but I would encourage you to, um, actually, maybe I'll just put it in the description box. You don't need a degree to just copy down the descriptions. I'm not gonna make myself look stupid and try to read these. So I will just probably copy them and put them in the description box for you. Or you scholars can look them up for yourself. Um, but yes, I do. I, I, I like my hair. I hope you guys like it because I'm giving these products a thumbs up. Alrighty, ladies. Thank you for watching and I will um, see you in the next video. Bye.